between those two different things, which is somewhere in the LA area. And as a group, we're able to overcome the challenges of this group um, to accomplish, I guess, what kids want to solve. And we do so by going through different stages of group dynamics, like performing, 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 and then we will get stuck to it. Um, yeah, so, uh, forming occurs, um, as we've learned in class, the stages of group development do not often go in sequence from the start to the end. Oftentimes, they'll have two clusters playing it back and forth. So, when Scotty Smalls moves to town, there's this group of boys that are already hanging out playing baseball at the sandlot. Um, one day after school, he, he follows them to the sandlot to see what they're doing. He notices that they're all playing the unique position, and it's the, uh, the game is kind of directed by Benny Rivera Rodriguez, who is basically, uh, Coaching in the fielding practice, telling them where where the ball's gonna go, where they need to put it. Um, one day, Scotty's just kind of standing out there, and Benny uh, Rodriguez happens to hit a fly ball that goes a little bit farther than he wanted it to, and ends up hitting him in the face, um, knocking him over. Yeah, so the team had already kind of formed before uh, Small came, and Small's coming, Benny made two deliveries to enlighten him and to let him play. Without really consulting the team, there was a lot of pushback, and they didn't initially accept the new member because they didn't believe in his skills, they didn't know who he was, and there was kind of a stormy where they were calling the names and things. It wasn't until he was able to prove himself to catch the ball, and they kind of formed back together with the new member. So now the storm will say finally know when we step into the morning stage. You know, the team finally starts to accept small as part of their own. They start getting a little bit more respect in the group, so they start actually create a friendship instead. Uh, it also talks about in the book how uh, the, uh, uh, the normal stage is one of the best times to have uh, a group or band get together uh, uh, sort of thing. So that's exactly what, what the team does. And then she made me do the dishes. And one more. Small. No, 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 small. I can't believe it. Can I have small one? You're killing me, small. These are small stuff. Better pay attention. First, you take the bread. You stick the chocolate on the bread. Then, you want to come out. When your mouth is holding, you stick it on the chocolate. <coughs> then, you cover it with the other one. Yeah, me too. Then, you stop it. Alright, that's one of our uh, more classic scenes in cinema of all time, right? So after the norming stage, move into the forming, and this is this is actually kind of why the team came together in the first place is to complete some sort of task. You see, now that there's a sense of unity, that they are ready to perform at a high level. For these boys of the Sandlot, they actually had an opportunity to play uh, a game against the Tigers. You know, one of the one of those teams that's all dressed in a nice suit and they've got the nice field and everything. Um, and when they had an opportunity to go play them, we'll find we'll see in this clip that they're more effective at contributing each player or each member of the team. They were you know there's a there's a tendency to productivity and that overall with each member contributing, there's going to be a greater success for the team. We're going to watch the clip again.
Make sure you get all your <laughs> to, uh, 